Right, I'm going to show you now, quickly on the computer, how to make a track IR for the bike sim using the Wii Remote Control. All you got to do is download something you called Smoothboard 2. You can get the trial version, it works just as well. You might be able to buy it from somewhere. But when you've got that, you need a Wii Remote, your sensor bar, which I've popped there, and I'm sitting on the floor. Basically what you do, and a Bluetooth dongle in your computer here, yeah? and that's there flashing away. You want to load up smooth, and when you've loaded it up, you press your pair button on the Wii remote, and it basically connects to your computer. And as you can see, as I move the Wii, now so the mouse is moving. So what I'm going to do, like an idiot, but I put this headband around my ear, around my ears, then pop the Wii with the laser, beam on the front, like that, and face it at the screen, and load up Flight Sim, you just disable it in a minute, load up Flight Sim, then on Flight Sim you go to mouse, mouse control, mouse view, shift and O, if you press shift and O, your mouse does it now, as soon as you activate your Wii headset by pressing the big button on the top, we're done. And you can unpause it. Unpause it without the mouth. Well, so you can make sure you get it positioned right. We, then you can, as you can see, my head pull up right. So the flight is left. You look down. Up all around your cockpit, even around the back. Works just as well as track IR. The only difference is with this one, when you want to look close at your cockpit, no matter how close you go, it's not going to do anything. But if you want to spend 130 on track IR, you've already got a week, you can spend an half hour and do it to keep with. This is the way I'm doing it. So, yeah, there we go. This is Wii Remote Track IR. By the way, I'm Matt Hilliard and I'm from iVale. Please don't steal my video without permission. Thank you.